I really enjoy you in this film. Thank was you. Was the premiere last night, and you were so understated, but yet have a lot of emotion and passion. So came out. So I have to say, great job. Thank you. Thank and you. loved the chemistry between you and Ruth. How was she to work with? Horrible person. Oh, really? Horrible. Darn. <laughs> I really love Ruth. I mean, I think I. Look, I, I, I adore her as a person. I think, you know, obviously I have incredible uh, respect for her as an actress, particularly what she's done in this movie. Um, I can take care of you. I know that. I can take care of you. But I think together we felt like we had this very special responsibility like special kids in class that got to do the special thing and we were going to treat it with as much uh care and responsibility as as we could and i think that there was something in that doing that task together that that maybe helped that chemistry perhaps and then jeff mentioned that ruth was his first choice and only choice to play this role were you aware of that when you we're talking to Jeff at the time? Or? Yeah, because, you know, Jeff and I had worked on Midnight right. Special together, and so we would have conversations. Was Michael Shannon in that movie too? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, Michael starred in Midnight Special. Um, and he told me about Ruth, that she had done this incredible job, and she, you know, she... And also, you know, that, that there was pressure for him, not pressure, but people were going, well, you should cast the this or that famous person. He's like, I've found my person. And then he introduced the two of us together and I could totally see. Because Jeff was striving for authenticity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Ruth just had a similar... She didn't look exactly like Mildred and she was shorter than Mildred. And, you know, he was never going to find doppelgangers. Right, right, right. But, you know, enough of a look but and an ener energetic uh, quality that... That was Mildred, that was in her. I know we have some enemies, but we have some friends too. You realize this case could alter the Constitution of the United States. You think you'll lose? We may lose a small battle, but win the big war. And I'm just so shocked to, to see that Racism, I mean, there was so much racism happened in the early 60s, I mean, after seeing this film. What, the one thing surprised you about the story after you uh, read the script or researched I, something? I, I was surprised at how big, uh, significant, important the story was. Mm -hmm. And yet I didn't know about it. Mm -hmm. And not just me, because I come from Australia, but I was surprised at how many Americans didn't know about it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's not such a terrible thing, given that there was no real um, massive, dramatic, violent, newsworthy events within that, that nine-year timeline. So you can imagine that it wasn't a big sort of news event, mm -hmm. except for the Supreme Court case. But I was just surprised that it's not part of the big notes of civil rights change uh, landscape in this country. Well, I had to say, great job. Great look for this role. Thank yeah, I'm you. sure you gain weight for it in the teeth and the hair and everything. I just remember now as you were talking, like, oh, I just talked to you a few years ago for another film you did and directed, Aussie film, the indie film you did two years ago. Oh, felony. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Thanks.